Welcome to another episode on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be adding auto dimming high beams to this 2020 Ram DT half ton truck. It should work for all of the DT half ton trucks. The heavy duties, I'm not sure about. You'll have to check on that. And really the only thing you should need is Alpha OBD and a auto dimming rear view mirror. So you'll need the auto dimming rear view mirror to start so that you already have the wire harness, but just swapping that out and turning on some stuff in the computer is all you should need. So let's get started by removing the old rear view mirror and then we'll take a look at the supplies that we need. All right, first things first, we need to get the rear view mirror out of the way. So to get the trim piece off, the first part that comes off is the more square part that's in the center. So you can take trim remover or a little pick and pull, pull the lower part to the side. Actually a pick seems to work better. I'll show the trim once I have it off. So you can pull it to the side and it unclips. Pull it to the side and it unclips. And then it just rotates out has a couple little feet on the bottom so when it goes in it clips in and then you push it up and then it clips to the sides so now to get the lower part off it has two clips on the side that grab onto the frame of the rearview mirror so you can pull it kind of to the side and then it'll unclip and then pull it straight down so if we look down inside you can see these are the areas on both sides that clip onto the rear view mirror. And I lost the bumper. There's a little bumper that goes on there. I'll find it in a minute. And to get the rear view mirror off, first thing I'll do is undo Christmas tree clip to get the wire harness out. And I'll unplug it. And then you just grab a hold of the frame, turn it, and it comes right off. Well, now that I've got the old one out, let's take a look at the replacement. So it's easy to tell if you have the correct rear view mirror because it has the little sensor on it here. So that is your um, auto dimming high beam sensor. And it has the same plug on it as the other one, so it should just be a matter of reinstalling this, plugging it in, and then activating it in the computer. And I thought that I would need new trim for it as well, but the trim that's on the truck already already has the cutout in it for auto dimming headlights. So we can reuse that. So all I had to do was spend $125 for the rear view mirror. I got this on LKQ's website, so not the pull apart, but if you go to LKQ online and go to their um, salvage part division, it, it lists all sorts of trucks. Now, one thing you will have to keep an eye on because I ran into this, they list, so for my particular application, I needed auto dimming rear view mirror with smart beam headlights without forward collision warning. And they listed probably 10 trucks that it said had the correct rear view mirror. But I pulled the window sticker for the, the VIN numbers of those trucks and only one of them actually had smart beam headlights. So you'll need to find one that is a Laramie truck that has uh, the level one package. So you can, there's a few websites you can go to. I'll, I'll post a link to one of them and you can just plug in the VIN number at the end of the long URL and it'll bring up the window sticker for that. Um, actually any, any Stellantis FCA vehicle, and then you'll want to look for uh, smart beam headlights. So this was 125 bucks. You can find them on eBay too for about 160. So that was the, the cheaper route to go. And you also need a tablet or a phone or something running uh, Alpha OBD, and then you'll need the OBD MX Plus or some other compatible OBD adapter that goes with, uh, that connects with um, Alpha OBD. And then you also need the security bypass cable so that you can actually get into the computer of the truck. So let's go ahead and install the bypass cable 
And then we'll go ahead and install the rear view mirror, which takes 30 seconds. And then we just need to turn on a couple options in the truck and it should work. And while you're doing this, you might as well also add rain sensing wipers to the truck. So check out my other video talking about rain sensing wipers. All you have to do is swap out a sensor that's right next to the rear view mirror on the windshield, turn on a couple things in the computer and bam, you've got rain sensing wipers. So this is our security bypass cable. I bought it on one of the Ram forums so you can find it there. They're not that expensive. And we need to connect it up to, up to the white and the green hub that are under the dash on the driver's side. So the, the small green plug goes to the white one and the small white one goes to the green one, which makes total sense. And you can connect them into any of the open, open plugs on the hub up there. And this is much easier to do with the trim panel out. So you should be able to remove the emergency brake one on its own. There's two screws in the bottom and then it pulls straight out. It doesn't hook over the knee bolster or anything. So you should be able just to do that on its own. So, um, so I'll connect that. There's really nothing to see. There's no way to get the camera in there very easily, but you, know, you just plug it in and then we connect this to the truck's OBD and then we'll connect our OBD link to this connection. And you can leave this plugged in all the time. I would recommend removing it before you take the truck in for service because... And installation is just as easy as uninstallation. So we'll go ahead and put our rear view mirror up here. And that's our rain sensing, our rain sensor. So if you want to check out that video, you can swap it while you're doing the rear view mirror. So we just turn it to its side until the nut lines up with the opening in the rear view mirror. And then it'll, then it'll seat flush with the windshield and then just turn it. And then it's installed. We'll clip our Christmas tree back in. Plug in our harness. And now we gotta put our trim piece on. So start with the bottom one. It goes up. It's a little hard to align without looking at anything, but there we go. And the upper piece, so turn the mirror down goes up over the top. You want to clip, clip these little feet in first, and you may have to fight with it a little bit. All right, that's good to go. So let's get the computer and turn on what we need to. All right, so now we're going to do the programming side. So we are connected to our OBD link. We're on RAM 1500 DSDT body computer. I need to go down to, uh, I need to go down to DT 2020. Say connect. Connected, go to the little car. Go all the way down and find car configuration change. Select option. So we'll search for vehicle config one auto high beam. That one's at the top. Uh, okay, so then we want yes. Start. Start. Okay. And then it'll say procedure complete. And then come in and the next one we want is 2014 CBC config IO auto high beam module location module locations that one Oh, high beam module location. 
set value ECC AHBM start next procedure complete and then we want customer set menu customer set menu one auto high beam CSM present yes start okay all right then the next one i gotta check my little cheat sheet uh, then the next one is lin and miscellaneous smart beam present and they're not necessarily in alphabetical order Okay, I don't see this one. This was one on the forums that said sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't show up in Alpha OBD. And the forum said sometimes you need the Windows version of Alpha OBD to force that to show up. So I don't have that here. So I guess we'll turn it off and see how important that is. All right, it seems to have worked. I've got the truck running and it's in, the headlights setting is in auto. So if we pull back, we've got automatic high beams disabled, automatic high beams enabled, and it, they won't change when I'm sitting. So I'll have to take it for a drive to make sure it's actually working. But then if we also take a look in our settings lights, automatic high beams is checked on. So it seems to be working, at least everything in here says that it should work, but I'll have to take it for a drive to make sure. Uh, but that's everything for this project. It took uh, 15 minutes at most, and we've got automatic high beams. And again, at the same time, you can add rain sensing wipers with only checking on a couple more things and swapping a sensor. So uh, that's everything for this video. Make sure you check out some of the other videos on the truck and also some other videos of projects going on in the shop. Thanks for watching.